everyone welcome back today we are going to talk about something that's been on the minds of tech enthusiasts for a while now the downfall of intel yep the company that once dominated the semiconductor industry is now facing some serious challenges so what went wrong with intel let's break it down in simple terms back in the day intel was the undisputed king of the chip world Founded in 1968, they were the brains behind the computers most of us grew up using. For 25 years from 1990 to 2017, Intel was the largest chip maker by revenue, setting industry standards with each new product. Remember that iconic Intel Inside jingle? It was everywhere. But like any giant, Intel had its missteps. One of the biggest, missing out on the mobile market. Back when smartphones were just starting to take off, Intel had a chance to provide chips for the iPhone. But they turned it down, thinking smartphones wouldn't be a big deal. Big mistake. Qualcomm swooped in and became the leader in mobile chips. Intel tried to catch up later, but by then it was too late. Now let's talk about AMD. For years, AMD was like Intel's little brother, always trying to keep up. But that all changed in 2014 when Nisa Su became AMD's CEO. She had a vision and launched the Ryzen processors, which outperformed Intel in many ways, especially in multitasking. AMD's strategy was different. They focused on making multiple smaller chips work together rather than just one big chip. This gave them an edge in power efficiency and cost, which Intel couldn't match. Another big issue for Intel was leadership. Over the years, Intel's top executives made some questionable decisions. They were too slow to innovate and even slower to adapt the changing market. While AMD and Nvidia were making big leaps forward, Intel was stuck in the past. Their slow transition to smaller, more efficient architecture sizes put them at a disadvantage. Fast forward to 2022, and something unthinkable happened. AMD surpassed Intel in market value. That was a huge milestone, not just for AMD, but for the entire industry. It showed that the underdog could take on the giant and win. And while Intel is still a major player, they are no longer the leader of the pack. So what's next for Intel? Well, they are not going to bankrupt anytime soon. They still make billions in profits. But the days of their dominance are over. Intel is trying to turn things around by building new factories and catching up in the technology race. But whether they can reclaim their throne is still up in the air. And that's the story of the Intel's downfall. It's a classic tale of a giant that got too comfortable at the top, only to be outpaced by a more agile competitor. So what do you think? Can Intel make a comeback or is this the new normal? Let me know in the comments below and as always don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tech insights.